It will be more summer like out there. Temperatures are heating up into the low 80s by this afternoon. We're also looking out for the chance of a scattered shower to this afternoon. Maybe a straight thunderstorm. We're most likely to see wet weather in the evening for your evening plans through the overnight. So we take you hour by hour. Here we are at lunchtime seeing some light hit or miss showers. So again, don't cancel your daytime plans, your evening plans. I don't know. It looks like showers and thunderstorms become more numerous. Here we are at midnight getting that storm system in from the south. They stick around for that Monday morning commute. Grab the umbrella tomorrow morning and keep it handy throughout the entire work week. It looks like we have a chance for seeing showers and thunderstorms right on through Friday here. So here we are at 11 o'clock tomorrow still seeing those showers. We start to dry out a little bit towards your afternoon and evening commute. Tuesday will be more hit or miss showers. I'll tell you what, we'll be watching the showers Wednesday night into Thursday. It looks like some of those thunderstorms had the possibility of being severe and maybe some heavy rainfall there. So as we plan your day 70, what a nice mild start. Yesterday was pretty chilly in the morning, so we're mild to start. Chance of a shower at noon, more likely to see that in the later afternoon, 83 your afternoon high with those winds out of the southeast. So here's that extended forecast. Again, unsettled weather, a chance of seeing it throughout the week here. Friday, though, as we end that work week, looks nice with. Well, it is certainly a beautiful morning out here. Sun about ready to rise. Yes, a yes. little bit of patchy fog out there, not too bad. Most mm -hmm. of it is north of Columbus in Delaware County and off to the north and the west. But by this afternoon, it is going to be a gorgeous day. Maybe you're going to the Arts Festival, whatever you have planned. A big improvement from yesterday as we take a live look at Doppler 10. We are all clear. High pressure giving us a mix of clouds and sunshine out there. No rain for those weekend plans like we had last weekend. And I'll tell you what, we're also going to improve on those temperatures yesterday we had those cooler temperatures. I think we had a high in around 70 degrees. We should be close to 80 for this time of year, so we'll be closer to that by this afternoon. So live Doppler 10 showing all clear, not the story off to our east. This is now post tropical cyclone Andrea. So the good news is as it's post tropical, that means it's falling apart and it's moving away. The bad news, all of this moisture, all of this rain has to come somewhere. It is falling as very heavy rain and continues to do so for the mid-Atlantic states all the way up into New England for today. And it will continue to threaten through Sunday night with those heavy rains, flash flooding, a big concern there in New England excuse me, as well as uh, possibly some severe tornadoes. So they'll be keeping an eye on that. But for us, we're staying nice and dry right through early tomorrow afternoon. It looks like we have a slight chance of seeing a shower tomorrow afternoon, but showers and storms become more likely overnight into Monday. Temperatures 54 in Gahanna, 56 in Groveport, 54 in Dublin right now. Taking a wider look here, 54 in uh, 56 rather in Circleville and a 54 in Delaware County. Visibility, as I mentioned, slightly reduced, especially in Delaware over to Marysville, London as well. We'll start to improve on that in the late morning. That'll burn off and again, we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine for most of the day. So we take you out Hour by hour, partly cloudy skies right on through tonight. So for all of those evening and those dinner plans, you're looking good there. It's not until tomorrow afternoon that we start to see that slight chance of a passing shower. Again, these will be very hit or miss in the early afternoon of Sunday. We can start to see them coming up from the south here. And it looks like temperatures will also stay in the upper 70s and low 80s for tomorrow as well. So here we are tomorrow at 5 o'clock and look what happens. Here we go. We're going to get that storm system coming in from the south and the southwest. And it looks like showers and thunderstorms become likely through the overnight. Monday is looking like a little bit of a stormy day there for us. But temperatures will remain near normal or slightly below normal for throughout that new work week. So at 9 a.m. we're looking at 61. Look at the winds change. We're out of the northeast this morning. Then by this afternoon, will be out of the southwest. That's a good sign that temperatures are starting to warm up for us. Some nice looking sunshine for all of those afternoon outdoor activities. At 4 o'clock, we're looking at 78 degrees. So here's that extended forecast. Today we're looking good. Sunday, again, just a slight chance of that afternoon shower. We're most likely to see wet weather along with the possibility of some thunderstorms on Monday. We're going to hang on to that threat for seeing wet weather right on through Thursday. Friday, we dry out temperatures in the low 80s, not too bad.
Taking a look at what's happening in your metro parks this weekend, learn basic yoga movements in an outdoor setting to rejuvenate your mind and body. Bring a mat and or blanket. Yoga in the park is today at 11.30 a.m. at Battelle Darby Creek. Meet at the Ranger Station. You'll find other outdoor activities by logging on to 10TV.com and clicking on the Metro Parks icon. Ashley? Well, Aaron,